Max Verstappen stands as the dominant force of F1's modern era, having won 49 of the last 73 races stretching back to the start of his maiden title-winning season in F1 2021. The Dutchman claimed his fifth victory of the first seven races of F1 2024 at last weekend's Emilia-Romagna Grand Prix, withstanding late pressure from Lando Norris to take the chequered flag by 0.725 seconds. That came after Norris secured his first F1 win at the previous race in Miami, with Ferrari's Carlos Sainz denying Verstappen equaling his own record of 10 consecutive victories at the Australian Grand Prix in March. After Red Bull won 21 of a possible 22 races in F1 2023, with 19 going to Verstappen, Norris reckons, it's about time. The three-time world champion started feeling the heat again with McLaren and Ferrari seemingly closing the gap. Norris said, when it's so close, you always think, what really could I have done that little bit differently, but you always could have done something a little bit better or a little bit differently. I'm sure Max could have reviewed things and said the same thing, but it was nice to know it wasn't an easy one for him. It's about time someone put him under pressure and he felt a bit of nerves again, because I'm sure he hasn't felt it for a while. Despite being 60 points adrift of Verstappen ahead of this weekend's Monaco Grand Prix, Norris is refusing to rule out a potential F1 2024 title challenge admitting he no longer wants to downplay what McLaren can achieve after their upturn in form over recent races. He said, We're a third of the way through so we have a very long way to go, so I think many, many things can happen, but also Monaco is a place where anything can happen, so I would never say, no, anymore, I've got fed up of myself underestimating what we can achieve as a team, we're positive, we've had a very good run of results second, first, second and there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to continue that here in Monaco with Red Bull reaching a plateau, and other teams catching up, we will get what everyone wants, actual close races and championship runs. We could even see Mercedes getting into the mix, and it will all disappear in 2026 with new regs that accomplish what, exactly? Someone is going to nail the new regs, like Mercedes in 2014 and RB in 2022, and we'll have to start over with a dominant team running away with everything.